Hello. Hi, Sagittarians. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name's Wendy Wing. I'm doing your reading for today, starting with your Power Animal Oracle card. The overarching energy for your reading today is Lynx Discernment. Look beyond immediate appearances. Feels like there's something making you a little nervous. Something, um, something's got your attention. Something may be a little frightening. Something that it's frightening because you're unsure of what it is yet or how big to make it, something like that. So this is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. So Sagittarius, in the past, you are in the energy of Knight of Swords in reverse. Something was stuck, something wasn't moving. I'm getting lies, something about lies in the past. Um, three of wands, six of pentacles in reverse, king of wands, page of pentacles. Something in the past that was stuck. I feel like this is you. You were stuck. There was something that was keeping you from uh, your ships coming in. Something keeping you from moving forward to something passionate that you wanted to create. And instead, you stayed in a situation that wasn't reciprocal. Something, um, it feels like you, from your perspective, you're giving much more to someone else, to something else than you were receiving. I feel like this is you wanting to be in your strength being you want to show up you wanted in the past to show up in your power to be confident in what you create there's some type of inner strength some type of you something that was draining your strength something that was keeping you from moving on some type of opportunity. It's so interesting, these two cards together. I'm feeling like you you have a lot of confidence, very charismatic, someone who has learned how to um, harness and use your passions to move forward. And I feel like this is why it's so frustrating in this past position because um, there's some type of energetic imbalance that was keeping you from being able to move forward. Something keeping you stuck, maybe where you're lying to yourself or being lied to. And there was some type of opportunity, some type of tangible, physical, opportunity that you wanted to follow and move forward with but um it took you out of of your comfort zone if you were to make that choice it would it would make you feel like starting over again interesting all right sagittarius in present energy, you are in page of pentacles in reverse. 
So page of pentacles was upright in the past. And now in your present energy, it's showing up in reverse. I feel like you, in the past, you really wanted, there was something very attractive about this page of pentacles, this a new opportunity, something completely different that would take you out of your wheelhouse, take you out of your comfort. And it, it, this feels like what you're worried about in the past. And in present energy, I feel like you, you believe that this page of pentacles, this, this different opportunity that would be very new is out of your reach or somehow it's closed off that that offer is no longer available. So let's see if that's true. Feel like you see whoever or whatever this page of pentacles is for you that it feels like a person that it feels like you believe that they have so many options right now. They have tons of options. Why, why would they be interested in you? This is someone who has lots of opportunities. I feel like you've got really in your head about this person um i feel like um i'm also reading that you would like them to be an option an opportunity you're not sure if there would be a sure bet or you're ruined. <laughs> like you're you're not sure about that. That would would it lead to something lasting or would it break apart? How much how feasible is this? I feel like there's you don't really have enough information. I feel like you this is all the information you're getting is coming from your headspace. It feels like overthinking. I don't feel that this is necessarily true, but you're perceiving the pages of pentacles as unavailable, that they have other options. Um I, I feel like you are talking yourself out of opportunities for your own happiness right now and that's what the links is talking about look beyond immediate appearances I feel like you you think that what's happening you that you've got a clear view of the appearances that this person is no longer available this opportunity with them that it wouldn't last anyway that um ooh, I'm feeling that people would get hurt. You feel that by pursuing this connection, um others around you would not be happy with this connection. This feels like a connection that uh would be a hard move to explain to others around you and then I'm hearing REO Speedwagon um I can't fight that feeling anymore I've forgotten what love is for is that how it goes I can't fight this feeling anymore. that's all I'm getting on repeat so but there's uh it feels like you can't fight the feeling this, there's something about this page of pentacles that it might be someone who's immature, maybe a little younger. But they're not, the people in the environment, I feel on both sides, all around, if you were, I feel like that is 
uh, this is definitely keeping you from, this is one of a huge factor, how difficult, how unacceptable your connection with this person is. So interesting. So in the center of your reading is Ace of Cups, a divine offering of love. Your higher self is saying this is, you've got a divine offering for love. We, dealer's choice, we all get to make choices with, if we accept this offering, this feels like emotional, an opportunity for emotional fulfillment. This is someone who has the beginning of stability, balance, finding their stability on their own, no matter how naive or useful their energy. There's an offering for love, fulfilling love. Maybe a soul connection. I'm feeling a, a soul connection here. I feel what I'm getting here with the page of cups in reverse is um, not feeling comfortable. You might not feel comfortable with emotions, not know what to do with them, not know how to connect. It seems impossible. There's some kind of hurdle. It seems impossible to, to bring this into reality. It's up in the air. It's a, a fantasy. This will happen when pigs fly. There's a lack of belief that this would go anywhere. It's, it feels like um, it sends you in a real, into your emotions. I feel like this person makes you feel loving and feels like a, a soul connection. but there's too many hurdles to bring this together, too much separation from time, space. Somehow others would not view this and it, it creates a, an emotional disharmony and I feel like this is a secret. This is a secret. You have not told anybody or very few people This is a secret. Someone you're, um, maybe you're pining over. Maybe it's just a, a dream in your head. It can't come true. It would take a lot of hard steps and you're not even sure if it would work. You're not even sure if this person's already has so many other offers. You don't know. And you're afraid that this connection would hurt others. And that's why you've kept it even a secret. Wow. I, I think you, in some respects, what this reading is about is looking, about, looking beyond immediate appearances, looking beyond that starting from the premises that this won't work and nobody's going to support this. Do you really have the correct information? Your challenge right now is the sun. Your challenge is to bring in your happiness, to allow your joy to come in. The sun is being youthful, having a rebirth, having abundance, having joy, having happiness. I feel like you, you're, you've done a really good job with um, 
acknowledging all the reasons why this can't happen. And that's why your challenge is your happiness, your ultimate happiness and fulfillment. The happiest, brightest card in the deck is your challenge. It's happy. Your challenge is, is being joyful and happy because there's all these beliefs that make what you want to bring you emotional fulfillment. You don't feel like you have access to that. Two of swords in reverse. So two of swords upright is about being blinded to not making a decision, stuck in indecision, not being able to see clearly. Your challenge is seeing clearly. Your challenge is seeing clearly and making a decision. It feels like you have been stuck in not making a decision about this reading, about this has been going on for quite some time. And you've been stuck at not making a choice. Not making a decision is a decision a decision to stay stuck. Your challenge is to come unstuck. Win or lose, make a decision, choose your happiness. Your challenge is coming unstuck, using your own discernment. Five of pentacles in reverse, your challenge is to let yourself out of the cold, to not abandon your dreams, not abandon uh, just assuming by taking no action that nothing can move forward. Let yourself in from out of the cold. You have the key. You are the key to your own success to release whatever beliefs that you have that are keeping you stuck, that are making you feel insecure, that whatever beliefs of yours that say that you don't deserve to find happiness, that happiness isn't in the cards for you, that the, the happiest you could be is not within reach. Wow. All right. So that's your reading, Sagittarius. I hope this was helpful. If this was your reading and you want to share your particular story in the comments, I would love to hear that. I'd love to hear how this resonates with you specifically, if it does. And if it did resonate with you to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you can get more readings like this in your feed. So, all right, Sagittarius, loving you, sending you love and light. Thank you. Bye.